Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast, Wednesday edition live. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what time it is. It's me, Bruce, the host of the Format. Got my main man, the Transformer. What's good, Transformer? What's good, my boy? Chilling, chilling. And of course, I got my main man, G. G, what's good, man? You. What it is? <laughs> what is what going it is. is? Man, I hear like the Terminator with the shades on, man. Get to the chopper. One of them days, man. One of them Get days. to the chopper. All right, all right. So um, we got a, We got a pretty good show for you here today. Um, definitely going to talk NFL, of course. Middle of the season, or getting to the middle of the season. We're going to do our pick them. We're going to talk the biggest story in the NFL right now is Devonte Adams, and uh, give some thoughts on that. And of course, we are. Um, we're also going to talk as uh, the NBA is right around the corner. We're going to talk some Lakers, and of course, who else? LeBron and Bronny, right? Because well, you just have to. You talk in the NBA, you know what that is, right? But um, before we get to that, you know what time it is. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you give us that like, that five star review, and drop a comment. All that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm, helps us find more sports fans, helps more sports fans find us. And finally, make sure you write it down, put it in your phone, set an alarm. Do whatever you got to do to remember Saturday nights at 7 p.m. We are live here on the Format Podcast, and we'll give you the opportunity to call in, talk to us, get at me. I love it. I can't wait. Let's, let's go ahead and, and move off the LeBron topic. But That was great. I appreciate everybody's feedback. Y'all were awesome. I also appreciate y'all's patience sticking with me as my, um. I don't know what the hell is going on, my yeah, crappy connection. Dollar, I need to call man. and like, I need to call and scream on AOL tomorrow or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. Hey, man, seriously, man, thank you all so much for holding it down for me oh, while I was boy. going and for everybody staying in the chat. All right, let's go to the last one. Devontae Adams, man, back to the NFL. Um, you want to take it from here, Transformer? You want? I mean, what's your segment? I mean, you, you chose this segment, so I'll let you know. All right, cool. Out. Bet. So basically, Devontae Adams, one of the best wide receivers in the league, I'd say top five or six. Am I right on that, Transformer? I think so. Top G? three, yeah. Top three. Where you at on that, G? You, you rank him top five wide receiver, right? Not this year. Well, he doesn't have a quarterback. <laughs> but I mean, just, just skill set wise. Um, yeah, top five potential. Yeah. Okay, cool. So so he's one of the he's one of the better wide receivers in the NFL. We'll say that. We'll leave it there. But the point is, um, Devontae Adams uh basically uh he demanded a trade yesterday. Is that yesterday or today? That was today. No, was today it? he was it yesterday, today. yesterday he demanded yesterday. a trade. Yeah, yesterday, yesterday. Um yeah, and that was crazy because we had heard rumors that he was unhappy with the Raiders, but then it ended up coming out that maybe that's not the case, right? And so um, let's – uh, Chris, what's good, man? I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate the love. All right. Um, <laughs> Here's <that>. maintenance fees. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, y'all might hey, help me get Chris. a new route. Um, no, Chris. no, man, I appreciate hey, the love, Chris, brother. He desperately <laughs> needs it, bro. He needs it, Chris. Yo, thank you, man. Seriously. That man said, I, 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 hey, it, I, I, I pissed screen. Bruce off so bad he broke his internet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, so Devontae and everything. Adams, <laughs> my bad. Crazy, right? So, Devontae Adams basically ends up, uh, uh, demanding out of, uh, the Raiders. Um, he had originally asked to go there. Um, from Green Bay. Was he a free agent or he got traded from Green Bay? Traded, he traded him. Okay, so Green Bay traded him to the Raiders. He wanted to go because he knew Aaron Rodgers was going to move on and they weren't properly compensating him in Green Bay. And his former college, his friend from college and his former quarterback, Derek Carr, at the time was the quarterback of the Raiders. So he says, I'll go over here. I'll play with my old quarterback, my homeboy, pause, and um, he will be my quarterback going forward. And then it ends up that Derek Carr ends up getting traded away to the Saints and uh, the coach got fired. I think it was Josh McDaniel at the time. So now they got a new coach. Now the Raiders don't have a decent quarterback and Devontae Adams is suffering. So now you kind of know the backstory, but then there's more to it that led up to this trade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, play a clip from the odd couple with Rob Parker and Kelvin Washington, kind of uh, 
going into the weeds a little bit more and explaining this whole thing. So check it out. But Rob G, get us up to speed because we got social media uh, drama. Guys, we got a situation in Sin City. This all kind of de- started to percolate on Thursday of last week where Devontae Adams unexpectedly showed up on the injury report with the hamstring issue. The reason why it was kind of murky is because prior to that, he didn't show any signs of having any kind of hamstring issue. So he ends up not playing on Sunday in their win over Cleveland. On Monday morning, Michael Fabiano, who writes for Sports Illustrated, does a lot of fantasy football work there, put out a little blurb, tongue-in-cheek mostly, saying, we may have seen the last of Devontae Adams in a Raiders uniform. Sports Illustrated takes that quote, throws it up on their social media, the same way we do for our stuff. And lo and behold, who's one person who likes that post? Devontae Adams, last game as a Raider, then head coach Antonio Pierce. Flash forward to earlier today on Tuesday, Devontae's asked about it on the K. Adams show. He kind of tries to downplay everything. But one thing he did say is, I haven't spoken to Antonio Pierce since he liked that post, so we'll see what it is. Two hours later, yes. multiple outlets reporting that Devontae Adams, the all-world wide receiver for the Las Vegas Raiders, has formally requested a trade at a Sin City. And Rob G, I know this is your team, your favorite team, yeah. the Raiders, and I know it pains you because there it is more drama. But I'll say this. Antonio Pierce <laughs> is to be blamed for all of this. Don't blame social media. Don't blame people blowing stuff out of proportion. You know, like, oh, it's a big deal. Whatever. Why would you, as a head coach, alienate your star player? There's just no reason for it. This is self-inflicted. Everybody told me, Rob G., Antonio Pierce is a player's guy. He's a former player. He bonds with the players. They all wanted him back. They told the Raiders, don't interview anybody. We got our coach. We play hard for this guy. How could a guy, knowing how hard it is to play this game and all the other stuff that goes on outside the building, why would you stir it up and have that come from inside your building from none other than the head coach? And you know this, Kelvin, if anybody else did it, a front office exec, a a ball boy, uh, somebody that they could identify, that that person would be put out of the organization, right? Right, right. Because it's detrimental behavior to the organization. Why in the world would you alienate uh, uh, Devontae Adams? Adams? Why, Kelvin? Well, look, Kay, you remember last week, Rob G, of course, remembers, that's his squad, and we had the conversation about Antonio Pierce saying uh, there will be some business decisions. The team is going to have to make some business decisions, and that was in regards to players. He felt like they quit on the team. He felt like they uh, they had given up. They weren't playing hard until the end. Because they didn't want to get hurt, right? they didn't want to get hurt. What's going on? So there will be some business decisions. Now, he apologized for that a couple of days ago, saying that, you know, I, and there's been some distractions. I kind of took part in that with my comments, but thankfully we've been able to work through it and blah, 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 blah. So I think there's starting to be him, and it goes to his disposition of the tough guy setting the tone. We talked about this last time. Him coming in, kind of being the rah-rah guy and his assistant coach, and that kind of works when you're an assistant coach. So Antonio Pierce is that assistant coach who rah-rah, who gets in your face, who kind of slams his hand on the table, motivates you, and he can get you going when it's in that position, right? Everybody has that uncle who can come at you and get you a certain way, talk to you a certain way, because he's only there for the weekend and yes. you don't see him anywhere the rest of the week. That can wear on a team. That can wear on a star player, and that can wear on a Devontae Adams, where by all accounts, he's been about business. He's been about work ethic. We've never questioned him he's never been a bad media guy a guy who gets in trouble so i'd imagine that probably rubs him the wrong way and and that type of uh coaching that type of motivation i don't need that i'm here every day i'm on time i stay longer i'm the first guy in so that kind of guy probably gets wrong the rub way especially if he doesn't see that it's paying dividends Uh, so now you add in social media like and post and now you're seeming petty and juvenile all right so um Start with you, G, man. What, do you, what are your thoughts on what the guys from the Odd Couple had to say about this? Please don't start man. with me. It's a no-brainer, man. Like, he's going to the Jets to play with Aaron Rodgers. He just <laughs> stopped there to get his bag, man. Like, last year, I think I saw a clip. Maybe it was – yeah, I think it was last year. We was talking about how um, – that he feared for his life or something like that. Like, they trying to get me killed out there. I guess he was <laughs> <laughs> complaining about – you seen that clip too? He was complaining was about the type of on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Like, gonna get me killed out here, man. I gotta get out of here. Yeah. yeah. So, so you know, we saw the the writing on the wall, so to speak. Mm-hmm. At the time, I really didn't know. Um, he was talking about. Um, um, the coach was talking about uh, Devontae. I didn't think he was talking about him, but I mean, it later came out that that's probably exactly who he was talking about because he ended up liking liking a tweet. Um, I. He want to play with Aaron Rodgers, man. He already, you know, wrote a whole documentary about pretty much like 
you know, mm. them getting back together. And it might have been in the script. He's like, hey, go get your money. I'm going to go get my money. We getting out of here. Green Bay ain't treating us right. Jeez. Who knows? So that's my two cents on it. Um, I know a lot of people talking about him going to the Chiefs. Uh, there was talk, speculative talks of him going with the Saints to play with Derek Carr. I saw that. Um, but if I had to pick, I think if they do trade him, if they're going to do him right, they'll send him to Aaron. Send him over there with Aaron Rodgers, but but, but why why is that doing him right? Because that's not the same Aaron Rodgers, and there's well, there's other there places there. where he could go. I'm sorry, yeah. and he's out of there. Well, the, the reason why the reason why I say that is because mm-hmm. they had a chemistry there, and I think mm-hmm. that he know that he's not going to put him in a position where he's either throwing the ball high over the middle so he can get killed, right? Like he, mm-hmm. he mentioned that, and they had they already had that chem- chemistry. They already been talking. Um, mm-hmm. you know they've been talking. He, he even said that you know, hey man, like um. They asked him a question. Uh, let me see if I can remember it. But it, it went around. It, it, it kind of. He pretty much was saying like they asked him if did he think that he want to play with Aaron Rodgers? Like, th- is he mad that Aaron Rodgers left? That, I think that was mm-hmm. the words he said. And he was like, nah, I'm not really mad. But then he was already. This was before he left Green Bay, because I think Aaron Rodgers left first. Right. Correct me. If I'm wrong. Uh, first. Yes. No, Devontae Devontae left, left? And Aaron Rodgers left the next season. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he left. the okay. Yeah. Yeah, and so so that was the conversation about them splitting up around that time. So it was two seasons ago. I'm kind of dating, but I'm dated, but uh, you good? But yeah, yeah, I, I really think he want to reunite with um, Aaron Rodgers. They had something going um, in Green Bay, and you know the Jets got probably a better defense now, and so I can see why he would want to play with him. That's missing piece. They don't have offense, mm-hmm. and um, and I tell you what. Jets, if you had Devontae on one side and uh Garrett Wilson on the other, that's a that's a mean one too. It's a problem. You you gotta you gotta believe and you gotta know that these guys are are trying to make the best out of deals, you mm-hmm. know, out of to get out of bad situations, man. Right? Like you gotta know that. You, we we seen players yeah. get picked up off of you know fax machines, like somebody didn't sign a fax, and mm-hmm. next thing you know, he show up in a in a uniform, like damn, how the hell we get Von Miller? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like like, like, what the hell? Like, how does somebody like that just fall on your fall in, you know, on your team? And it's like, mm-hmm. um, to me, that's what I think, man. I, I think that's a good fit for him, and I'm not going with that because that's what everybody else going with. But mm-hmm. I like to see him in a Ravens uniform, of course. I think anybody would want a Devontae Adams yeah. as a, yeah. a wide receiver, you know. So Washington, Baltimore. Yeah. I mean, there's well, a few. Teams I don't think happen. Washington, but no, definitely him and Terry McLaurin. What? That would be the same thing as him and Garrett Wilson. That would be crazy, him and Terry McLaurin. I mean, I, I obviously I would rather see him in purple and black, but I, you know, I'm just, just yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's no everybody right now that you know that that struggle on offense mm-hmm. is probably trying to get these yeah. trade packages together. And to, if to if we're real, team compete. If we're real, you think Pittsburgh's not putting together a package? Because I just heard today that um, remember yeah, Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk was on the way to Pittsburgh and yeah. that deal that San Francisco gave him, they said, look, we are doing this deal today, sign it, or we're sending you to Pittsburgh. So he, he took the deal in San Francisco. So Pittsburgh has been looking for another guy. So imagine just hypothetically, again, same type of situation, Dante, uh, Devonte Adams and George Pickens crazy. You know what I'm saying? That would be another yeah. situation like that. So um, yeah. Mr. Hopkins out there too, right? Mm-hmm. No, he's yeah, he, in Tennessee. He's not. He's not nearly the same. He don't want to be there, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but but I guess we don't even know if he's the same because he's got a terrible quarterback too. So yeah. You know. So I, I I wouldn't be surprised if um the Chiefs went and got uh, DeAndre. The only thing we're gonna say is that would the Raiders trade him in division? You know what I'm saying? Right. That was, I think that's the only hold up there. But I, I hear you. You know, you give Patrick Mahomes that weapon, you might want to cancel Christmas. It's that's a tough one. <laughs> You got that, hurt him too. That 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 mean you do that. That means the Ravens got to run it forty times to keep Mahomes on the sidelines. <laughs> yeah, oh, sure. man. Transformer, yeah. what you got, my brother? Y'all know how I feel about Devontae, right? He's not going back to Green Bay, man. Oh no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> no, oh, okay, that's not okay. what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying that. Y'all I know I love Devontae. Yes, sir. I've witnessed this man as a rookie develop into the number one receiver in the NFL for multiple mm-hmm. years. Right. Devontae Adams is used to one thing, winning and looking good doing it. Yes. He went to he went to Las Vegas. Right. He wanted to stay in Green Bay. But the reason Mm -hmm. why he left Green Bay is because of who? Aaron Rodgers. It was not because Mm -hmm. of Green Bay. 
yeah. Aaron Rodgers and his indecisiveness on whether he wants to sign a contract or whether he wants to retire or wants to be a part of the team and this, this, and that, and that. Devontae Adams left because he was upset that, okay, every other season Aaron Rodgers may leave. What's the backup plan? He didn't see the Jordan Love right, coming that, right. that we see now. Nobody no, yeah. truly did. I mean, that, if you look at it in hindsight, he didn't see that. So guess what? He wants to go to Las Vegas and play with his college teammate, right? Mm -hmm. What does the Raiders instantly do? Get rid of his college teammate. Correct. So not only, only did you get rid of the, nope. the, the real reason why I wanted to come here in the first place, now we're losing and in horrible fashion. We don't look like a good football team. Everything's wrong with this football team. I'm not getting the ball the way I want to because guess what? We don't even know who our quarterback is. We have a big quarterback issue. So guess what? Devontae is upset. The man is yeah. rightfully mad, bro. He's mad. Like, okay, I went mm -hmm. from winning. I've been in the playoffs every single time that I've been in a, I've been in a, in a Green Bay jersey. I'm used to seeing NFC championships, right? I'm used to at least to seeing getting there, having the opportunity to play in the Super Bowl. I'll be upset too and want to get up out of there. Get me up out of here. Right, you're you're. I'm 31 years old. I'm still in the pinnacle of my football success because I mean, I'm looking at the numbers here. There's nothing telling me that he's not. He's still a great mm -hmm. route runner. He's still a possession receiver. He can mm -hmm. stretch the field. He's going to give you safety in your corners trouble all day long. So guess what? Pray me. I'm not upset with it. I'm happy for him. And if he's smart, he would only want to go to one place. One place. And yes, it's a stretch, but he wants to go to Kansas City. I would want to want to. I would want to go to Kansas City because guess mm -hmm. what? You're be, you're better. You're back in a situation where two things fit what you want right now. You want the football. Guess what? Who's the number one receiver in Kansas City? Exactly right. Devontae Adams immediately steps in and becomes the number one receiver. Oh, right? oh, yeah. D d I got no argument with that. It's yeah, just he immediately that, steps I, in. I can't imagine the Raiders would allow that to happen. No, no, but that's why I said at first. I mean, it's a it's a stress that that happens as far as the trade, mm -hmm. right? So you see that they have they need a number one receiver. All right. They have they have a winning football coach, winning football mentality, winning quarterback situation. So now mm -hmm. you go back into a situation. I'm back to winning football. I'm back mm -hmm. to being in games where I matter, where I mm -hmm. feel like if I'm laying my body on the line, I'm coming. To sh I'm showing up. I'm the first man in. I'm the last man out mentality. That's mm -hmm. going to get me back to that Super Bowl that I've been craving for. And I'm going to win it. All right. After that, now you're seeing other teams who has a better opportunity, who has a, a system or a, or a franchise who's about winning. Devontae Adams is about winning. If we're not winning, what the hell am I doing here? Mm -hmm. What the hell am I doing here? I don't see him. I don't see the Jets being a great idea. Why? Because they're still dysfunctional. And Aaron Rodgers is 41 years, 40 years old, going on 41 years old. Aaron Rodgers could be out of there next season. Now Devontae is going to be back in the situation yeah. he's in now, yeah. stuck. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck here. I asked to be traded here. Now I'm traded. I get one year of Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers may get hurt. Aaron Rodgers may de declare retirement. Now I'm mm -hmm. stuck in a Jets jersey with whom as my quarterback. So I think that's another bad situation for him. I mm -hmm. like the Ravens, the Steelers, the Commanders. I think mm -hmm. those are three very great teams, even the Saints. I like the Saints, but with Olave and the way Rashid, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, I think it's Rashid. I think it's Rashid. Um, yeah, uh, over yeah, there yeah. playing, playing, playing. You know, it gives him three receivers, but get he's back to it. He back with his teammate, right? Mm -hmm. They can they're gonna immediately stretch the stretch the field like crazy. Now you have Aaron Kam Alvin Kamara um in a run game, so you have mm -hmm. a winning sort of culture that you can develop and really get back to what you want to be in. And right now, Las Vegas ain't that man. It's just not. It's not that. You're not winning. We we don't know who our quarterback is. Now we're having this little social media back and forth, this little banter back and forth. Mm -hmm. And I'm, it's, it's still not equivocating to me winning football games. It's not equivocating to me getting the ball and all that. I feel like, Wait you a minute, Wait a minute. like that. I just thought about something. I'm sorry to cut you off. And I know the answer to this, but why wouldn't Jerry Jones try to move heaven and earth to get that guy? Because it's Jerry Jones. I, Right, that's the answer. <laughs> but but yeah, tell yeah, me, no. tell me he couldn't benefit from that, right? Remember, there is there is no check I wouldn't write to get another Super Bowl. You know that, Stephen A. Right? Right the check. I don't get think they guy. have a I don't think they, they they need a running back more than they need a receiver. 
they do, but clearly that's not going to happen. So if you have an opportunity, get your hands on a – now, I'm not a Dak guy, but he he was second-team All-Pro last year, right? So you yeah. have an opportunity. You have Dak, and then you have C.D. Lamb, and then you can get a, a Devontae Adams on the other side. Like, that could be real. You got you to gotta explore that. You got to kick the can on that if you're the Cowboys, I think. But do they got the cap to even do so? Make it work. Convert yeah. some salaries, pay some bonuses, right? Make yeah. it work. I mean, I just see it being yeah. tough because they still got to pay Micah, right? Mm-hmm. And that's still the, the the huge problem that you're going to have, right? No, going here's, next here's, year. here's the problem that you don't have. You freaking trade Micah this offseason and get a haul. Oh, that's him. not happening. That's not that's happening. It. But that's what you should do. That's he don't happening. show up in big games. Why wouldn't you? Should and won't. That, and, then you don't, and then you don't have to pay him. And you get something back for him. They're not trading Micah Parsons. I would. I Jerry would. Jones is not trading Micah Parsons. I hear what you're saying, but I, we're I, talking would, about they, they would trade for Devontae years, Adams right? and move heaven and earth before I ever see him trying to trade Micah Parsons this offseason. This I hear what you're saying. Happen. I'm just saying we're we're talking football scenarios, so I'm yeah, like, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. be a good one. But no, nah, I hear you. Um, but yeah, this this Devontae Adams oh. thing, man, is oh. very interesting. I, I liked uh, a lot of. So here's the thing, right? Here's my other question. We didn't even touch on this part. Pause. Is um, what did you think about uh, Rob Parker and these guys saying that Antonio Pierce deserves some of the blame in terms of liking that social media tweet or that social media post in saying that we may have just seen Devontae Adams last game as a Raider? If you're the head coach, you got to know better than that because yeah, these, that's, that's these guys cool. today are so soft. You know, they they see, they hear everything, and if they don't, somebody's like, hey. Hey, bro, did you did you see your coach like that that post about you? Da da da. Yeah. You know, and they take everything you know super super, you know, uh, to the vest. So I think you, you got to be careful with stuff like that. Do you think that um, Antonio Pierce bears any culpability for this, or you think he just kind of hurried along a situation that was already going to happen? As a coach, uh, you don't do that. As a coach, that's not that, that that's something you just don't do. Because guess what? Every teammate, every player on that team is now looking mm-hmm. at that tweet like, damn. That could be me. You know I mean, it, 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 that could be me, right? <laughs> like, yeah. if, if, no, I, if there's some think... sign of, that I'm not going to be here or that I don't want to be here, and somebody mm-hmm. puts it on social media, coach goes to like it. Now, how's he going to treat me in the um uh, in the in the locker room? Now, mm-hmm. how's he going to when, when that game plan come out? What's his game plan now? You know what I mean? So like, it's a it's a lot that goes to it. As Pierce should have stayed away from that. That's that's mm-hmm. my opinion. I think, what you got, G? I look at it like I understand what you're saying. Both of y'all points. Um, I look at it like. You know, him liking that tweet, what it did is it, it told the rest of his players, if you don't want to be here, you don't have to be here. I'm not going to kiss your ass to play for me. Like, if you don't want to be here, roll out. We're going to get you up out of here. Like you said, you made a business decision. Mm-hmm. And um, I think when he made that documentary talking down about the team, that was we that was a, that was stuff that we didn't see. come. We didn't see this happening, right? Like, no way you trading, you putting Devontae Adams on the trading block. But it might, because when he had to, um, he had a, a a brief clip with I think it was ESPN. I want to say ESPN. It looked like he was a great breakdown and cry when they asked him the question about him getting traded. I don't know if you guys had an opportunity to see it, say that, but he was kind of choked up when he was answering the question of him being traded. And so it's like I don't know, yeah, bro. I like got I, another clip for that, yeah, yeah. So so I was I don't know, man. He looked like he was um he was he was shocked by the um the coach like saying, hey, if you don't want to be out be here, then roll mm-hmm. out. So mm-hmm. man. You just can't be – how can I put it? You can't wear your heart on your, your sleeve. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They paying you to play football, a lot of money to play football. A lot of money to and play so, football. Yeah, just just be quiet and play football, bro. Like yeah. if you want – but but if this is one of those things where you want to get out, this is how you do it. We've seen it happen that. time and time again. Yeah, yeah, you use that to get out. And so mm-hmm. maybe that's, that's the thing. He want to get out there. He want to get out. No doubt, no doubt. Well, let's listen to uh, – G brought it up. Let's listen to what um, Devontae had to say when he was asked about this whole thing. So this big story happens where they think your coach – or your coach did, I actually don't know, likes this post about you getting traded. How soon did you hear from coach? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard from him. I haven't, I haven't talked to him. So I haven't uh, – yeah, I don't know. I don't really know exactly what that was about. Obviously, I got – you know, social media is a beast, so it's a lot of people out there that, that saw it and, um, you know, wondering what's going on and people reaching out. And, yeah, I haven't, I haven't spoke to him. 
honestly, it's, it's hard to, to comment on. Um, and okay. I'm sure you would you would imagine uh, as such, but it's it's one of those situations where I just keep my head down and, and keep doing my thing, and uh, you know, let the let the ships fall where they may as, as it pertains to that. But I haven't. There's been no no communication with anybody from the team since uh, since that became a thing. But you know, it's kind of just like the weekly yeah. what's up with Tay uh, thing. You know, it's always some some sort of drama. But at the end of the day, one seven doesn't create any of it. So people can say what they want, but I'm just chilling, trying to be the the model for you know not stirring the pot and just just locking in and doing what I got to do. But a lot of people think you're you may may never play another down as a Raider. What would you say to that? Uh, all I can control is this this talk we're having right here, and then after we're done with this, all I can control is the next thing that I'm on to. So I'm, I'm gonna get up in a minute oh, and go God. get a nice workout in, and that's all I can control. So I think he handled that really well. Um, you guys, Devontae Adams has always been a great person in the media. Mm-hmm. Um, he hasn't ever acted like a diva. You know, that's just not his mentality. Devontae Adams is all about hard work, hard work, mm-hmm. watching film, uh, you know, coaching up teammates, you know, be, being in tune with, with the players, being in tune with the team. For this to be going down, man, it's just it's it's un it's un Devontae Adams esque. That I've that I've bear witnessed over the last what decade that he's been playing, man. But you know, G, what you got, man? I was just thinking about what Chris said about psychological warfare and how he kind of talked about Le, uh, Lamar before the Ravens played him, right? Like, well, he's not playing, right? So it doesn't really matter um, if he's going to be there or not. But um, the, just the the aspect of him. Um, going there everybody knew it was like why the hell is he going there he went there for the bag he got the bag and now he want to get traded to a better team i mean that's a power move i mean he went there for the bag and to play with his teammate that's all i was about you know, to say that he, that he had chemistry he still wanted to be good and relevant i mm-hmm. think that's 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 the thing about it he wanted to, he wanted to get his money but he also wanted to stay in relevancy green mm-hmm. bay could have gave him his money but Devontae didn't see that they that we were going to still be relevant like I don't know who who's who's gonna be our quarterback. Aaron Rodgers is not gonna be there. So guess what? Y'all can. You, we don't know who my quarterback gonna be. Well, I want out. And I think that's that's the way it rolls. Because apparently we had I think we had thirty million on the table, waiting for him. Like, hey man, we offering you thirty million to stay. And he was like, nah, bro. Aaron Aaron is indecisive. I can't go with this every single off season. It's about Aaron. Everything is is Aaron gonna stay? Is Aaron gonna go? Hell, as a Green Bay Packer fan, I grew tired of it. I'm like, God damn it. Here we go. Another off season. What we're talking about is Aaron Rodgers going to stay, you know, or he's going to go to uh, a, a retreat and think about his his life and and, and and mental awareness. I mean, that's 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 cool and all, but the lying about the 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 the, the vaccine and all that. Devontae got tired of all that. He's like, hey man, this ain't this ain't what I'm here for. Aaron Rodgers might not be here, but let me go out and get my bag elsewhere, but also go to somewhere where I would like to play. And that was with Derek Carr. And I think the moment that they traded Derek Carr, you instantly got that reaction out of Adams that okay, I'm out. I don't want to be here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and he tried to be professional about it, you know, as long as he could. So I get it. Um, just looking at USA, according to USA Today, um, the two teams at the top of his kind of wish list for places to land are the Jets and the Saints. And we just talked about that. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, and Derek Carr. Derek Carr, right. Guys that he knows. And, you know, so that's interesting. Um so apparently the Raiders have informed other teams that they would consider trading Devontae Adams for a package that would include a second round pick and additional compensation. So we'll see how that goes up. Oh, Transformer, man, you right. The Cowboys, it is reported, are not interested in trading for Devontae Adams per source. <sighs> Dig it. Told you. I, mean, listen, I don't want the Cowboys <laughs> to win either, but, but I, I just can't. See, my thing is this. Stop telling us how you would do anything to win another Super Bowl when it's clear that's a lie. Like, yeah. that, I don't like being lied to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't that's like Jerry when you're to me like I'm stupid. You, you, be, you be drinking that Jerry juice, man. I need you to oh, stop drinking that Jerry, Jerry juice, man. I, listen, I, I did kind of drink the Jerry juice pause when, <laughs> um, you know, b- before Dak got paid. And I thought that there was a chance he might have wised up, you know, but uh, guess not. But, yeah, that's that's crazy. So. Um, according to USA Today, and I, these are pretty much um, almost all that we talked about, Devontae Adams' potential landing spots, the Steelers, the Jets, the Chiefs, the Cowboys, and the Chargers. So it appears the Cowboys are out. Chargers are interesting because, again, that's in division. 
the Chiefs are also in division. We talked about the Jets and the Steelers, I think. I think the Steelers would probably be a really good fit. I don't want to see it as a Raven fan, but I think it would be a really good fit. I think it would be, too. Yeah. I mean, any, anywhere where there's competent play, there's a competent mm-hmm. franchise, mm-hmm. that's where he's going to want to go. I mean, that's with any player, I mean, but especially him. He's used to that. Would have a, yeah, you would have a good OC there. Um, and now think about this, right? Uh, imagine you have George Pickens and and Devontae Adams, and you got a mobile quarterback like Fields who can break the pocket and now completely change what uh, defensive backfields do against you in the passing game. And then you got guys that, you know, with elite hands like that who can go up and get it and run routes and can be, you know, dangerous in the scramble drill. Yeah, that, that would make Pittsburgh a real big problem. I tell you what, but um, I've been seeing talks about the Bills too. What do you think about the Bills? It would be interesting because they just got rid of a number one receiver to kind of let Josh Allen do his thing without having to worry about forcing the ball to one particular guy. And so, if you got Devonte Adams back there, especially if you gave up picks and compensation for him, right, you would be back right in that same situation and that might in, increase Josh Allen's turnovers again, right? Because now he's he's feeling obligated to force the ball to a, a particular guy, a number one receiver. So maybe you've got a situation now where, you know, to your point, you talked about this, I think, last episode where Josh Allen is really able to spread the football around, play judici- judiciously, right? And you don't see all that stuff happening. So I don't know if the Bills necessarily want to go back down that road. You know what I mean? Yeah, but no, I get you. I what get happened you. to him the other night with Baltimore? They may be like, mm, nah, Josh man, Allen's really Montana. good, but we might need him. <laughs> we might right, we might need to give him another weapon. Because <laughs> when they play, when they go up against the elite teams, well, we saw what happened. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I said that because I'm I'm looking at all the odds right now. Uh, of course, the Jets are number one, Saints yeah. are two, Steelers three, Commanders four, Cowboys five, and I'm pretty sure that mm-hmm. may change after that statement. Um, Raiders, Chiefs, 49ers, don't see why, but uh, Bills and Ravens are all on that uh, list as far as the order of the sports I mm-hmm. see, Devontae. Right. Yeah. Um, the Bills reportedly are in contention for Adams, although not the favorites. Uh, yeah, no, NFL insider Jesse Palmer, James Palmer said on Tuesday, another team to really keep an eye on, in my opinion, the Bills. The t- that team can be good offensively. That's a team that's a Super Bowl contender, and it's been lacking at the receiver spot. So, yeah. and I think, it, and I, the the other reason why I believe Stephon Diggs was is traded because of the the diva ish mentality. I mean, we mm-hmm. use the term diva, but you yeah. know the the locker room, the media, and the way he mm-hmm. always portrayed that the the back and forth between him and Josh Allen on the sideline. Mm-hmm. We don't see that with Devontae Adams, and I think. Right. Yeah. Devontae, Devontae Adams is about work, work, mm-hmm. hard work, you know. So I think it'll be a different situation for Josh Allen. Um, I think he comes to Josh Allen with that conversation, like, bro, you ain't got to force feed me. I'm yeah, just yeah. about winning. But if you see me open, you know what if you if you if you need a play, you know where to throw the ball to. You know what I mean? And you know, so. you know what's a good thing too is that the cold wouldn't bother him up there. <laughs> Obviously, coming from Green, Green Bay, Bay. Yeah. he'd be all right dealing with Buffalo. So yeah. Uh, Do you think those receivers talk? Stephon Diggs and Devontae Adams. I mean, those those are some pretty, probably. pretty. Uh, yeah, they probably yeah. in. So he's probably mm-hmm. telling them if they did talk, he probably right. like, nah, bro, stay maybe hell away from him. Yeah, maybe you don't want to go there. Great yeah. point, Jim. Yeah, I um, I'm I'm sure they talk. That that's a great point. I hadn't even considered. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm excited to see how this plays out and where he ends up. But he, here's the other thing, though. We also got to keep in mind. The Raiders might end up not trading him, trading him at all. Just because a player asks out don't mean you got to do it. You got to do what's best for the organization. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, if you can get some type of compensation, because I'm pretty sure a lot of teams right now or like, they're dialing up the numbers, they're dialing up the picks, and mm-hmm. they got something to offer. They got something heavy to offer him. So I think if you're business savvy, you already got a player that don't want to be there, right? Yeah, and if somebody's he, he, he going to give know. you the compensation for it. You make that trade. Yeah, no, that that's trade. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, if somebody's no, knocking no, at that door with a pie. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. man, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll accept that pie he's and keep moving. Pretty on. much through egg in the coach face. He's out of there, bro. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he did yeah. a documentary, and your documentary is just like the most. Well, that wasn't the same coach, though. Remember, that wasn't that wasn't Antonio Pierce. I don't think. 
Well, it's the same situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Devontae with Jimmy Garoppolo? What you talking about? Yeah, that was like uh, last year and the year before. That was early last year and the year before. Oh, when Jimmy was in the uh, with the Raiders? With the Raiders, yeah. Mm-hmm. If they make him the villain, right? Devontae Adams. Yeah, if they make him the villain, he's going to have a hard time finding a place that oh, – They can't make him the villain because – Yeah, I, I, the, track record, everybody, the track record. The track record. Exactly. Is, yeah, everybody there. in the league knows that this is a good dude who just works, and he's not a diva receiver. He doesn't cause problems. Like, up until now, think about this. He's been in the league, what, eight, ten years now? Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When have we yeah. ever heard anything other than when he got traded out of Green Bay? And now, when have we ever heard anything about Devontae Adams? So, Never. I, I don't think anybody will believe if they try to make him the villain. Narrative shift. That's all I'm saying. Well, I mean, I'm not you, saying it's going to happen, but I narrative shift. Yeah. They do. So, so, do we think keeping him is good for the organization? Hell no. no. Not no. now. <laughs> no, no. That's not that what I was saying. Is what burnt. I was, the only that thing I was, is burnt. Yeah, the only thing I was saying, Chris, is if you're the Raiders and you don't get what you think you want or deserve to, to trade him for, don't trade him. That that's the only thing I was saying. Yeah. So I wasn't um uh, I wasn't saying like uh you know it, it would be good to to keep him just for the sake of keeping him. Yeah. But Edward Jackson, I mean, but like to my point, he's used to good quarterback play. Right? Jimmy wasn't good. He, he he wasn't good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I came there because I have chemistry with the quarterback that was there. Mm-hmm. That was the reason why I signed off on being traded to, to the Raiders. Like, I, I know that quarterback. I played with him at Fresno State. I have chemistry with that guy. For y'all to just trade him and then give me Jimmy G, who y'all ended up, you know, releasing in like a year? Come on. I mean, that's, that's not why I'm here. You know? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I think he want to play with Lamar. I mean, he did, you know, hype up Lamar before the before the game that he beat y'all. In. I mean, I didn't mean to say that part, but the game that he played against y'all, you know, yeah, yeah. Do you think was, he would pull an AB show. move? Absolutely not. Only AB pulling that type of move. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, 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 AB he, got CTE for real. I so about, nah, you know, that, that man, crazy. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, if you yeah. follow AB on social media, preferably Twitter, boy, that boy is a menace. Yeah, he <laughs> says some stuff, menace, man. man. Yeah, yeah, he's he's wild. When he was Monte talking has about never been that, park, I was like, yo, chill, bro. What's wrong with you, man? Yeah, he, he's got some issues. But um, all right, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh that's that's all we got on this Devontae Adams thing. Uh, you want to open up the phone lines? Let's see if anybody wants to call and give their thoughts on that before we get about it. I mean, we can. Yeah, I don't think do we'll it. get a call, but you know, not a lot of people, <laughs> not a lot of people yeah. are savvy on football receivers. So you think we'll get first a super chat or uh a call? Don't answer that. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> 904-219-8264. 904-219-8264. It's in the chat and it's scrolling on the bottom of the screen. So, uh, yeah, give us a shout with your thoughts on Devontae Adams. And, yeah, after that, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for the night. What a show. Nah, this was a great one, guys. This was a great mm-hmm. one. I'm to Apple yeah, when he was showing frustration moves when Derek Carr was there, um, like slamming his helmet down and pushing the camera man. That's because he was losing. You know, when you're when you're losing, man, and, like and you got to look at how the, the cameraman like crossed him, right? I, I remember I remember what you're talking about, like the cameraman, like like kind of like walked in front of Devontae Adams. Ooh, well, I you like don't this. do that. Yeah, yeah. I like no, this good stuff, that. Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. Can't beat the Ravens though. You're right. What does that have to do with anything? Where did that come from? I don't know, but I like what Chris said. Well, let's lace them up then. I'm gonna back down, Chris. Listen, hopefully we lace them up in in New Orleans, right? Chris, Chris, y'all got y'all got Madden. Y'all got Madden. No, I actually don't. Somebody will kill me in Madden. Um, I got college football, which I haven't even played in like a month and a half. I got college football. I might have to pick that up, man. Yeah, man. I I play like RPG games, man. I don't really do. I I I still ain't even got 2K. I'm typically big on 2K. those like, open source games, games are those open world games are crazy, man. They, like it'd be pissing me off. Like yeah, I'd be on dump 100 I, hours in your life, real fast. Yeah, I'll probably just still be on side scrolls, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm out here trying to do one quest and then you get pulled off to the side. Doing another side. one, yeah. Oh, come yeah. on, man. You want to complete the world or something? Like mm-hmm. I'm playing Wukong still, and I'm still like, bro, this game was rough, mm-hmm. bro. This game was yeah. rough, man. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't I ain't even gonna lie. I was freaking. Oh, man, I told you super chat. Oh, 
Chris, hey, my Chris. man. <laughs> All right, All right brother. <laughs> Love. Hey, big Love. fat internet, <laughs> Bruce. <Yeah. laughs> Go try and buy Bruce a, a goddamn uh, Wi Fi router. New router. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. I'll do Wi Fi, man. You gotta get like, that router, I need, I need bro. That fixed cable, man. Oh, okay, Edward calling. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's take this. Still right, though. We still right. We still right. <laughs> What's going on, Edward, man? Format podcast. Thank going? you for calling, brother. What's going on, fellas? What's going on? How are everybody doing tonight? Hope we're doing the best. Well, but I was talking about what the Devontae Adams said. Now, I, do you think the media would put him out as, like, a diva villain? Because, like I said, with the situation with him, Gary Carr was there. He pushed the cameraman and he showed his frustrations like that. And, and also, he showed his frustrations with Jimmy mm-hmm. Garoppolo. And that's why I was asking, like, is they trying to make him out to be like the diva wide receiver? You know, I now, can I can only hope not because we haven't really seen – that's what I was telling Transformer. And uh, as a Green Bay guy, he knows this um, better than I do. We haven't seen this – That we haven't seen that type of thing – from uh Devonte adams for his entire career so i can't i mean i guess i shouldn't say i can't imagine these people will do anything but I, I really would hope that they wouldn't be that disingenuous in terms of um doing something like that and trying to paint him in a bad light because in my estimation again i'm not on the inside and i don't have any information to this but i've never seen him really portrayed as anything except a professional outstanding wide receiver but you know yeah. It's hard to yeah, be. but he also had a, he had he had a good QB. He didn't show none of those frustrations. But mm-hmm. then now he didn't have a, he doesn't have a good QB. He's showing those diva like. I don't think that's diva like though. When you have when you're an elite receiver and you have a bad QB, think about how frustrated you would be running these routes over and over again and blocking and cutting and sprinting and you know you run in and you got your hand raised up and all that and every darn near every play you got jogged back to the huddle mad because it's like and i'm not talking diva receiver like i'm always open diva receiver like you're legitimately open but you don't have a guy that can get you the football which doesn't allow you to take advantage of your your gifts and the work you've put in in order to help make the team successful and i really feel like with Devontae, that that's what he's about he's not about his numbers or anything, he wants to make the team successful so they can win. So when you got players like that, no matter the position, they're frustrated when they can't take advantage of that. You, you feel me, Transformer? Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, because going back to what Edward put in the comments, the slamming of mm-hmm. the helmet, that's because he was upset. They're losing. When he mm-hmm. puts the cameraman, they lost that. That was after a loss. Yeah. And you coming in my path, and I'm already frustrated trying to get to the locker room, and you cut me off, and you bump into me. I'm going to push you. I'm upset. I'm upset that I'm losing. You know what I mean? I don't think that had anything to do with the like Derek Carr. He loves Derek Carr. It, it was moments that he that's slammed me. his helmet in Green Bay. Almost. Players slamming yeah. helmets all the time. Tom right. Brady broke how many tablets? Facts. <laughs> you know I mean? so, yeah, but see, that's 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 Tom Brady. Yeah, I get it. That's Tom Brady. But I'm just saying, but players do it them. though. Yeah, players do do it, but it's like the wide receiver gets the bad rep though. I get it. I get it. That is a diva position, but I, I get your point though. And then it's like, and then like you said, like with bad QB, like D Hop, he didn't have no good QBs in Houston. He was still putting up numbers. He played with Deshaun Watson when Deshaun Watson was no, really, I'm really about, good. I'm talking about before. I'm before talking about before that. Deshaun Watson. Okay, 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 okay. I got you. Okay, My man was balling before that, though. Yeah, but I mean, D-Hop when you're accustomed wrong. to losing, you know, what I mean, when you <laughs> you're accustomed to losing, you kind of you bred in it. Like I said, when his time in Green Bay, they're used to getting into the NFC Championship with what three four times his entire tenure there you know being in old super bowl type of conversations deandre hopkins i don't think he's ever really made the playoffs other than once maybe twice you know what i mean so like i said it's it's a term of mentalities of what you're accustomed to i'm accustomed to winning i'm accustomed to team work ethic and i'm accustomed to having a quarterback i can trust and that i have chemistry with when i lose both of those i have a huge problem i have a huge problem with me being here because one i don't have a quarterback i got chemistry with and two, nobody's working hard enough to, you know, to, to get us in that winning position. We're losing. I'm upset. So that's why, like, that, like, I don't see, like, and again, I don't see him being villainized as a diva because, like I said, his track record speaks for himself. Nothing but his teammates from um, years prior, like, bro, Devontae, the first dude in, first, last dude out. 
Like, you know, he, he doesn't he doesn't go back and complaining about how the football got here, yada, yada, yada. You know what I mean? He just he's all about hard work. But when you mix that with losing and you're look, going back, you looking at the film like, come on, man, it's spots where I'm open. You just got to like get it here or let's run this type of play there. You kind of get a little frustrated with that mentality. Yeah, that's true, man. But you know, like how the media is portrayed, man. They always gonna say it's, he's a it's the wide receiver position. It, they just gonna get the bad rep, man. But uh, well, we also yeah, can't we can't blame it all on the media, man. I mean, some of these guys really are. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I know Bruce, you in the media. I know you. Call, I, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. I, thoughts, I do hear what you're saying, though. I no, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, you're, you're right don't, in don't, some don't. cases, you know. Yeah, don't don't turn me down, man. You, nah, you, not you, at all. You, you had it bad today, man. Hey, remember, man, I put I put word in for your Irish, man. You know, you know, I don't know nobody who played Irish. You know what I'm I saying? appreciate but, the hey, love, man. You know, I'm gonna fellas go ahead, man, and go, man. That's all I want to call and talk to that one, man. All right, man. I appreciate the call, brother. Thanks so much. All right, man. Y'all have a good night, B, man. You have a good care, man. Love you. I love you too, bro. All right. Um, I guess we can go ahead and uh, we can wrap it right here. I don't think uh, we're going to get any more calls for the night. So, uh, man, what a show. What a show. This is I good feel one, real man. bad that we uh, that we lost some of that, man. That, that second topic was crazy. Hey, but shout Maybe out to Chris. Did. Shout out to Nino. You know what I mean? They came through with the one, two. Facts. They helped you get this man off that AOL dial up. Hey, thank you for the super chats. I appreciate y'all. Definitely. Definitely. Big time, um, big time. Yeah, so, by the way, if there's college football fans in the chat, man, make sure you all check out the channel because I do um college football show every week, and I have a former uh, Division One and professional uh, wide receiver and kick returner that does that show with me. So make sure you all check that out so you can enjoy the uh, college football content too, all right? So, yeah, I guess I guess that's what we got for the night. And um, appreciate all you all again. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for hanging with me. I uh, hope you all enjoyed what we got. Uh, make sure that you're liking and subscribing if you haven't already. I'm pretty sure most of you all have. And finally, make sure you are sharing the channel so we can get this out to as many people as possible. Because I see how live the chat gets with just a few of us. I can't even imagine, like, you know, some of these live shows, you get 50, 100, you know, 100 plus people in here. So, uh, we, yeah, we can have a crazy chat because, you know, y'all are the best, man. So I appreciate the love. So, yeah, let's go ahead and call it a night. And what is this, Wednesday? So we'll be back with you Saturday night, you know, unless something crazy happens between now and then, which in the world of sports it often does. But um, oh, Devontae might get traded by then. He might get traded, at which point we got <laughs> we to gotta, we gotta get online, providing my internet wants to act like it has some damn sense. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, get on here and talk about it. But y'all have a great night. Thank you for coming in. And we out. Peace. Oh, here we go. I got your back, brother. All right, man. Go ahead and do that, man.